Well, today's report is about a teenager from Gloucestershire who, despite being diagnosed with cancer, has raised thousands of pounds to help other young sufferers and is campaigning to change negative stereotypes of youth. Connie Huck reports. That's so sweet. When I was 15, I started volunteering at my local Red Cross shop. Uh, and then when I was 16, I was diagnosed with liver cancer. 18-year-old Rosie Kilburn is battling a rare form of cancer. It's called hepatocellular fibrolamella carcinoma, and it's really rare. Um, something like 1 in 18 million people get it a year or something. I had primary tumours in my liver, and then they spread to my lung and next to my bowel. Hello. But despite that, she's determined to take a stand for young people by showing how many youngsters volunteer in their local community. And she's also fronted a national campaign to challenge negative stereotypes of youth. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Rose and I've come from Gloucester today. It was a national campaign all over from London to Scotland with uh, billboards and posters. And there was a picture of us looking like all surly and yobbish. It's been pretty good. I've been told I can look like an Asperger kid. It's the right kind of thing to do. You looked at the picture and then you had the bad, negative kind of idea coming and then you read the story and it was changed to positive. We were doing good for nothing, so no money, just voluntary good. <laughs> yeah, then next lot of sort. Rosie has taken a year off school for her treatment and has started up a fundraising business to help other cancer sufferers and their families. No, don't buy the T-shirt. Last year I decided that I would uh, make the best out of my sit bad situation and set up the knock-on effect, which is my fundraising business, promoting the message that people with cancer are survivors, not sufferers. It's a check. Rosie sells online, but is also taking her business out on the road. Here, a stall at a fashion show, organised by fellow students at Newant Community School in Gloucestershire. And part of the proceeds will go to her charity business venture. The council was pretty much the making of the knock-on effect. And um, I think I don't know whether I would have done it so much if I hadn't had cancer. See how it goes. Take every day as it comes. That kind of thing. Because that's the thing with the, with cancer and stuff. You don't really. You get used to not really looking forward, not looking too much in the future. Because obviously you've got to live every day as it is, and just make the most out of everything. Well, Rosie Kilburn will receive her Young Citizen Award in a live programme on the BBC News Channel presented by Connie Huck from the Rotary Conference in Bournemouth at half past 11 in the morning this Saturday.